The year 1999. Anarchy has taken over the public schools of America. Why aren't you gentlemen in class today? Do you need me to spell it out for you? Every day, teachers fear for their lives. If you allow a student to gain control of the situation, the result is anarchy. Violence is at an all-time high. This is your last warning. But today... Whoa! There's a substitute. That's a strange dude. Get in your seats, now! <laughs> Discipline is necessary to maintain order. Order is necessary to prevent anarchy. <laughs> Now class is dismissed, gentlemen. Programmed to teach. You like tormenting people? <laughs> Designed to kill. Do you have some sort of military experience? Some. Built for maximum discipline. This is a very unstable unit. You're on permanent detention. Today, he's giving the ultimate test. Everyone will fail. I bet you got this whole area booby trapped up. It's live and learn. What's happening out here? Or learn to die. Human beings are soft. They can't take their punishment. They don't make good soldiers. Class of 1999, part two. After all, rules are rules. The Substitute. Coming from Cinetel Films. Hey, Mark. Oh, hey, Wes. Hey. What you doing around here? In a small town, everyone knows your business. He got himself a date. Can't believe that. Date? Do. So if you're gonna have an affair. Hello. Willie's already acting very peculiar. I work hard at my marriage, Wesley. You'd better keep things to yourself. Well, you never know about people, do you? You <laughs> think that they're like your best friend, but they can be anything but. Because nothing stays hidden forever. I got it bad, Mark. What do you think? You think you got me on a, a, a hook? I wound up following Willie last night. Come on, give the old man a hug. And he's a bona fide lunatic. I think that you, you are the lunatic. I think there's a few things we need to iron out. I got myself in a real no-win situation. This here is a sign of true affection. Sometimes a love affair is like an act of murder. Once you've started, you can't stop. They're hungry, they're deadly, and they're flying this way. And nothing in this town will ever be quite the same again. Tracy Griffith. Jim Youngs, Michael J. Pollard, Charles Napier, William Sanderson, and John Goff. Now, terror is in the air. No! Skeeter, coming all too soon from August Entertainment. lived in a world of her own. Make and maintain eye contact. Where honesty was the only thing that mattered. It wasn't me that took money. Getzo did. He took two bills out just like this, and then he put it down in his pants like that. 
That's why you took two tens out of the drawer. No! No! But a stranger entered her life. Come on, jump in. I'm not going to eat you. Oh, that's wonderful. You just get in the car with a man you don't even know, and then you just let him stay here. Why don't you just call me Mac? And turned her world upside down. Yes, you look beautiful, don't you? <laughs> what did you do to yourself? You cut my hair. This is one of your crushes, isn't it? You don't know what you're talking about. You pester people. You pursue them and you haunt them and you, you've got to stop. Did it ever occur to you that what she needs is maybe a little kindness? Did it ever occur to you you don't know what you're talking about? Close to me just a bit all the time. You're like a primitive thing. It's never been spoiled. I want you to tell me things. Like you. You like me, don't you? Has he done anything to you? He has, hasn't he? It's got to stop. It was a mistake. It should never have happened. Now go on home. No! No! It's not funny. Deborah Winger and the story of a woman nobody noticed. Nothing that you can do to me is going to stop me from telling her the truth. Let go! Until it was too late. Do you understand that you can go to prison for the rest of your life for this? What he did is really bad. All you have to do is say that he raped you once before and he was trying to do it again. He didn't rape me. Look, somebody did. You're going to have a baby. Golden Globe winner Deborah Winger, Barbara Hershey, and Gabriel Byrne. You don't have to lie, Martha. I don't lie. A dangerous woman. Forget about her. She was just another hooker. She was a friend. Who was that? Homicide doesn't find her killer soon, I will. Des Flynn. For 20 years, he was the backbone of the force. Desmond loves life. He made a difference. I'm so sorry, Sarah. In one instant, a rookie cop will learn everything Des Flynn ever knew. And ever since then, I've been having these strange episodes. I think it's connected to your husband. Mr. Warner, there are two souls in your body. Your soul and Desmond Flynn's soul. And when you were drifting between life and death, his spirit entered your body. And how long will he be inside me? Forever. Or unless his death is resolved. What do you want? I'd like to ask you a few questions regarding the death of a police officer. Call my attorney. It's like all of a sudden this feeling comes over me. Thought I told you to... I'm doing these things. But it's not me doing it. Desmond is always with you. This is a violation of a direct order. Yes, sir, I know that, but I found someone who was at the murder. I don't care if you found Jimmy Hoffman. It's a cop. The killer's a cop. You need to issue a warrant for Officer Warner. Uh. His life force will take over. Jason Gedrick, Kim Delaney, Gary Hudson, Cindy Pass, and Lyman Ward. Freeze! Drop the gun! Oh. 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 The Force.